thought it'd be fun to do a little get ready with me for bed and like show you guys my full skincare routine considering i have so much makeup on right now i did that trend what's it called um contour medium contour this trend though right here so i have like a lot of makeup on so we're gonna do like a full skincare routine i'm gonna put my hair out of the way i hate the way i said that we're gonna get my hair just out of the way I have my cute little cow print headband. I should start bringing back my old headbands. I used to wear headbands like every day of my life. It was actually kind of a problem. I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I'll go in with like a micellar water. I never say that right. Micellar, micellar water. Or like a makeup remover wipe or something like that. But typically I use this as you can tell. Whoa. I don't know if this is normal, but it literally burns my eyes. Like my eyes. My eyes physically burn anytime I use this stuff. Every time, this is like not a good feeling. This eye. Does anyone else feel they low-key like look and feel better with like less makeup? Anytime I put on a lot of makeup, I'm like, kind of look like a clown. And then I get really scared for my wedding because on my wedding, someone's gonna obviously put a lot of makeup on me. Like my makeup artist will. And I'm just like, what if I hate it? What if I just want to go like my everyday natural <gasps> glam? Like what if I hate it? I'm stressing about getting married and I don't even have a boyfriend yet. Okay, now that that did majority of the work, I always go in with like a face cleanser and I love, you'll find a pattern with my skincare. I love First Aid Beauty. I haven't tried anything else in years and this has just always worked for me. And I just cleanse my face. I'm gonna put water on and then put a little bit of this on. Okay, skin is feeling really clean right now and really good. Before I do any of the other stuff, what? I'm gonna go in with this Peter Thomas Roth. It's a firm peeling gel. Visibly exfoliates by rolling, lifting, and sweeping away impurities when massaged into skin. Multi-action enzymes and cellul cellulose help uncover a smoother, fresher, newer looking complexion. That's the longest name I've ever seen of a product in my entire life, but it's not wrong. I love this stuff. It's like an exfoliator. I'll show you guys like the consistency. Ew. Um, <laughs> it's like literally just a gel. There's no, cause you know how some exfoliators have like beads in them and like the rocks and they, I feel like they just scratch your face. I'm just not a fan. This is a little gel. There's like little white dots forming. That's dead skin. So disgusting, yes. Amazing, yes. You want to do it on a dry face, then you like rinse it off and you have the softest skin ever. I don't know what my hands are doing. You have such soft skin though, seriously. Okay, you, I want to show you guys. You can literally see it all over my face. Look at my fingers. Dead skin everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. Before I go in with my toners, moisturizers, stuff like that, I'm gonna go shower. My hair is super gross, whether you can see it or not. I mean, is it? I'm just gonna shower my hair. What? I'm just gonna wash my hair, take a shower, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I don't know why in the shower I'm like feeling so silly, goofy mood vibes. So if I'm weird from here on out, you've been warned. I feel like I'll just show you guys my hair care while we're here anyways. This is the way leave-in conditioner. This is the way. It smells really good. I just kind of spray it wherever I feel. Keep it to like your ends. Smells like fancy hair care. This is the Ordinary. They have this little hair care bottle. And I keep this on my scalp. It's a multi-peptide serum for hair density. So it helps with like hair growth. Not that I really need that to be honest. Because my hair is so thick. An odd time I'll put this like all on my scalp. Can you see me? And then I do this. Oh! Just to get it like kind of evenly distributed in there. This is a rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. Daily use scalp treatment and split end care. This one I use on my split ends because I have a lot. Girl, I got a lot of split ends. This smell though of this brand is not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't really enjoy the smell of it. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. What is wrong with me? That smells like mint. Not my favorite, but it grew on me as of four seconds ago. Work on skincare again. Okay, maybe I'll just rock my <laughs> bow tie. No, 
not funny actually either so so we're going in with this glow recipe toner my friend got me this for christmas a year ago so that goes to show how much i use it it's just scented I don't typically use scented products on my face but when i need like a toner i just go for it it's never made me like break out really bad but i just kind of stay away usually and then they have a glow recipe they're matching niacide 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 Niacide, 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 niacinamide, niacinamide, that's it, niacinamide dew drops. Oh, oh, why are we not coming out? Aesthetic, ASMR, rub this in. Oh, with the toner, I was like patting it. If you guys could see flashback, slow-mo flashback. I was patting it in. I don't like rub it all over my skin. I feel like that can irritate it. I honestly just made that up. I don't know. I just always, when it comes to toners. Toners kind of scare me, but they work good, I think. Is this doing anything? I don't know. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. Rose Hip. Sephora brand like face roller and Gua Sha, if that's how you pronounce it. Oh my gosh, put it all over. And I get it like on my neck too. We're gonna roll the oil everywhere. All on our neck. We want the gua sha, gua sha? To go over the oil. Cause otherwise it's gonna like tug on your skin. So now that I'm looking, my face looks soaking wet. Like it looks like I just came out of the shower. Take this side of it. Okay. I've never watched a tutorial. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. No one come for me. Let me know though if you have good tips. Cause I literally don't know what I'm doing. Oh, eyebrow up whatever this area of your face is up your like cheekbone i guess and here down and this always makes me like swallow like doing this I, there's like build up of something in everyone's jaw or whatever the heck you want to call this so doing this i have to swallow makes you makes the fluid run but also doing this like helps your like jawline you can tell I haven't done this in a long time because I have no jawline. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It just feels so good. I wish I could get someone to do this like to my face. Ugh, it just feels so good. I just rub the excess oil into my skin and down my neck. Whenever I do this though, I do have to say I wake up with like the best, most hydrated skin. Like my skin in the morning is unbelievably soft. Next we're gonna go in with an eye cream. This is a hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid in it. It's Hydro Beauty. It's Hydro Beauty. It's First Aid Beauty. No scents, good on sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but I just like to play it safe. I do two teeny little dots like that. And then you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's your most gentle finger. And I focus it like here. Like, a lot of people put the eye cream really high. I focus it like where my nasty, nasty eye bags are. And then I also put it up on my brow bone. Why do I put up my brow bone? I don't know. I just feel like it's part of the eye. Oh, my finger's cramping. I have to switch. Wow. My under eyes just soaked that up. They were like, we need to be moisturized, bitch. Do you see this? Then I go in with the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. You guessed it. I actually have combination skin. I'm not like dry or oily usually. And it's good on my combination skin. But the second I go to Florida and I use this stuff, I break out. And I feel like it's because this stuff is so like thick and moisturizing, which is great when I'm in Canada. Super dry and like, literally we get no humidity here. Like it's strange. We never get humidity where I am. So it works so good here, this moisturizer. And my skin like is crystal clear. Like it's just so perfect. But take it to a humid climate and this will F you up. I think it's the moisturizer. And then just because it looks so much cuter with curled eyelashes, I'm gonna quickly just curl them. I look like a whole new person, don't I? Okay guys, we're on the last step. If you made it this far, oh my gosh, thank you. We're gonna end off with Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I always need something on my lips at all times. I fear that I am a lippy girl like i'm so basic like that i always have 100 lip products on me i just love applying lip gloss lipstick lip balm you name it on your lips i want it <laughs> that was so stupid like such a like cute little lip gloss it has a teeny tint to it i always look like such an and like 
putting on lip gloss like ew and i do you know how many times i put lip gloss on in public and i'm just out there like in front of people probably like i should be way more embarrassed maybe i'm gonna stop putting on lip gloss in public because that just made me really self-conscious i gotta go like but that just doesn't do it like you gotta get in there <laughs> Okay, I need to go to bed. I think I'm overtired. Hey, we're done. I feel so good. This is my skin. I feel like I have good skin. I just hate my freaking under eye bags. They're so bad. I'm like kind of sweating. Thanks for spending the evening with me. If you made it this far, you're a real one. I only have like 15 subscribers right now. So it's probably just you and me here right now, to be honest. <laughs> That's so sad. I'll remember you when I hit my first million subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for doing my skincare with me. I hope this helped. Let me know if you guys have any recs. Love recommendations. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.